I shouldn't push it. But if I did push it, I'm going down a slippery slope here. Hi, I'm Diana, and today we're going to be talking about packing for a one week winter trip in only a backpack. That's right, we're going minimal this holiday season. And do you know why? Because if you've been on a plane anytime recently, you realize that air travel is busy and messed up. <laughs> and you can easily miss your airplane or your bags can miss the next airplane. They're oversold, overbooked. There's no room in the overhead compartment. They will take your bags out of the overhead compartment and say, sorry, you have to put them below. And guess what happens if your bags don't arrive to your destination? You've got a week of borrowed clothes and toiletries and that does not feel good. So the only way to guarantee you're going to arrive with what you intend to arrive with is to carry it on your back. So we're gonna go as minimal and as simple as possible and hopefully the rest of your holiday season will be as minimal and simple as possible too. We have to pack clothes that can fold up very small. Do you know what that means? Do you know why I'm suddenly excited? Because silk is the best for packing up small and light. Wait till you see this. I will be showing you all of the outfits I'll be packing, but first I'd like to show you how small these silk pants pack up. I'm gonna roll it up really tight. And you know, don't worry about wrinkles. You can unwrinkle when you arrive at your destination with all of your items because you didn't pack them underneath. Okay, those same silk pants I just rolled up. I didn't show you because I wanted it to be a surprise. They are now this small. They are the size of, <laughs> I, what do you want to say that it's the size of? Uh, maybe like a small can of hairspray, but it's very tiny and very light. And this is what we're aiming for with all of our items, okay? I know that it's no fun to wear your winter coat flying, but what you do is when you get on the airplane, you take it off and you roll it up, put it behind your back, and then you have nice, Lumbar support. Do you like how I can find the silver lining in anything? I really can. I get it from my mother and some people like it and some people don't, but I like it. Let's talk about simple jewelry. Let's not go overboard here. I would like to bring out these simple gold huggies. How pretty. They're so simple and they're so easy to wear. I have a link down below to where you can get these. They're only about 12 or $13. They're so cheap and they are gold plated. So they're not gonna affect your ears and they're about that big. So that would be for everyday use. And then I'm going to splurge a little bit and bring these earrings that I made. They're from my collection and they are glass and stone and coral and gold. And those are going to be, if I want to dress up my basic outfits just a little bit. There's only one or two things that have a neckline that go down because I wanna stay warm on this trip. But for those times, we're going to do this very small opal necklace. That's a little 16 incher right up there. So light. And it's only simple and gold plated and costs nothing. So if anything happens to it on this trip or it gets tangled or I ruin it, it really doesn't affect me. So I really love gold plated and gold filled jewelry because it costs nothing and you really don't have to worry if anything happens to it. But one thing that I always would worry what happens to it is I'm going to bring this beautiful and simple rose gold bracelet. And honestly, I do not know if these are real diamonds or cubic zirconia because when you get things at the thrift store, you buy them because they look good. And sometimes things are not priced at their real value. I just know that this bracelet looks great with everything. So one bracelet, one necklace, two earrings. What do I do? I always put them in my little suede case that zips up. And I probably could pick something smaller, but over the years, I've come to know that case as the case that holds my jewelry. It's very easy to find. Nothing else is that color. You want to do what makes sense and to me, when I see that case, I know my jewelry's in there. I don't lose it, makes sense. Let's talk about the very important item that's going to totally make this happen. 
It couldn't happen without this item. What is this amazing item, you say? Packing cubes. Packing cubes are going to amaze you and save your entire trip. You won't believe how much you can fit into these packing cubes. I'm going to show you at the end, after I show you the outfits, how they all fit in here and how we are going to get an entire week's worth of nice outfits into a backpack. I have a large one for my outfits. I have a smaller one for my undergarments. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? For my undergarments. I have a smaller one for my undergarments. And then if I have an extra one at the end, I love to corral my cords and chargers and electronics, headphones, that sort of thing. Because nothing makes me feel crazier than having all of my cords tangled in my bag and I can't find my charger. And we all want to arrive calm, cool, and collected this holiday season, don't we? I do. I know you do too. You don't have to say it. I'm always asking you to say things. I kind of hope that you're in your house saying them out loud to me. Here we go. Let's get to the outfits. These are my thrift store finds that I am bringing this year. And as you know, going to the thrift store is the easiest way to get something new for barely anything. I'm excited to show you what I found. Let's go. So the first trick is that you have to wear your bulkiest clothes on the airplane. This is my airplane outfit, and I'm also going to end up using this at my destination. But let me explain what I'm wearing here. I've got these really stretchy old jeans that I love because I'm not going to try out a new pair of jeans and hope that they are comfortable on an eight day trip. I'm just going to go with my tried and true, a bit of a uh, boot cut here, which I feel is very flattering for me. I do not follow jeans trends and the only reason I'm following the trend of not wearing skinny jeans is because they never felt good in the first place. Who liked them? I did not. So, jeans that feel great. I would like to point out these little tiny yoga socks that I'm wearing that look like ballet slippers. These are going to be my staple for my trip because there's going to be a lot of indoor socializing and there won't be shoes. And I think these are cute. They have a non-slip tread on the bottom. And up here, I have one of my tank tops. I'm going to bring two tank tops, one in nude, one in black. And this is the bulkiest thing I'm going to bring. This is a sweater from Zara from a thrift store, of course. I really felt like it had another season in it. It was a little pilled and it could have used a washing. So I thought this is something I can do. So a good dunk in a warm sink with OxyClean and a pill shaver, and you've got a sweater that's going to last you another year or two. And this is a nice one, check it out. This is pretty much the perfect holiday sweater. Let's try folding this neck over and see what happens. Well, you can fold the neck over, but I like it a little more bunchy. I think it's pretty cute with this short haircut. And boy, is this comfortable. This is going to be used on at least two days of this eight day trip. Maybe three, because it feels awesome. Here's a close up look of this sweater. Look how cozy I look. I'm so ready for a fire and some cookies. And look at all this room. I can have a lot of cookies. <laughs> I can. I can have a lot of whatever I want in this kind of sweater. I can worry about that in January. It's amazing what OxyClean and a pill shaver can do. So that last sweater was a bit on the warm side. Those are for the cold days and the cold activities and when you really need to be cozy. But sometimes the house gets kind of overheated with lots of people or fireplace and you need something less. And for that instance, I have this slouchy kind of thin sweater that I picked up and I'm going to wear it with pants number two, which are my trusty soft pants and they're an olive color. I don't think people color mix enough. They're not adventurous enough with their color mixing because this pink sweater and these olive pants, I think totally work. 
So here we have our slouchy sweater. Let's see. Under this sweater, I've kept my nude tank top on. And this is just a perfectly fine slouchy sweater or shirt to wear when you're cooking or just hanging out on the couch watching the Great British Bake Off with my niece. That's incredibly specific, but that is what I do. And if you want to do that too, I'm sure you're welcome to do that. It's a nice color for my skin tone. So I have no complaints about this sweater besides it might, it might be a little shapeless, but sometimes you just don't care about shape. It's all about color and softness and comfort. And that is the goal of this outfit. When I have a day where that's what I need, this is what I'm gonna bring out. You don't always want a turtleneck in the winter. I mostly want a turtleneck in the winter, but sometimes I don't. And in that case, I'll wear this one. So speaking of turtleneck sweaters, this is the third sweater that I'm going to bring. There's gonna be three sweaters and three pants. This is the third sweater. It's by Banana Republic. Of course, I got it from a thrift store. And it is a wonderful wool. It's even got a bit of cashmere in it. And all I had to do was pill shave it around the wrists. A little bit of work goes a long way with these clothes. Here is my wonderful new Banana Republic classic gray turtleneck sweater with my silk pants that were already in my closet. This is such a simple, casual, and classy outfit. I think it's really the, the sheen of the silk pants that makes this a little fancier. But this is a great quality sweater and that really helps. So when I have my jewelry on, I'm going to have a gold bracelet with this. And I think that will be nice. I will be wearing these yoga socks for all of these looks because that's mostly what's going to be worn with these. Having a good looking classic sweater like this is so important. I honestly could wear this every day of my trip and no one would bat an eye. And that is a weird saying, bat an eye. No one would blink at me. <laughs> Never really thought about that phrase before. But I feel like this is a very simple and classy outfit. I love it. So that was three outfits, but there are some other things that we need to bring. So let us not forget that this is a holiday trip and we need something a little bit elevated for Christmas Eve or Christmas or New Year's. So you wanna pack a really light, but kind of fancier outfit. And for me, I found this Top Shop full length long sleeve dress that I'm very excited about. Here it is. This dress doesn't wrinkle, has long sleeves and a high neck. It's a nice length. Got my little yoga socks on, it looks fine. And I think that the one thing this dress is missing, and it's not a silk scarf. I'm not gonna say that. You thought I was gonna say that. Is red lipstick. I really feel like red lipstick would make this outfit. And that is what I'm going to do. So far, three pants, two tank tops, three sweaters, and a dress. And there's honestly just one more thing that we really need. The last thing that I really feel you need are a nice pair of pajamas or a nice sleep set. And in this case, I'm bringing my silk pajamas. So why would I waste space on nice pajamas. Well, first of all, I'm not really wasting space because they fold up so small and they are so light. But you know, during the holidays, you often end up having either breakfast with your family or you find yourself communicating with others when you're still in your sleeping suit, <laughs> whatever that might be. So you should make it nice and pleasant to look at. And in this case, wonderful to wear, and it makes me look like I care about myself. That's the thing. You have to choose clothes that make it look like you actually care. I think that is the way to actually start caring more about yourself, is to start appearing <laughs> like you care about yourself. And then you really do start to care about yourself. And in this case, I feel like a pretty classy lady. I feel like I'd be an inspiration to my nieces. And I also feel great because do I have to explain 
how much I love silk? I don't think I do. Wait till you see how small this packs up. It's very exciting to me. I don't even know why. I haven't packed anything up yet in my packing cubes, but if I have any space left, these are my two wild cards that I would love to bring, but I do not have to bring. And this is not necessarily meant to go together, but these are what I want to bring. One is this very shiny, wide-necked, weighs nothing, almost translucent sweater from Zara. It looks like tinsel and I think it would be really fun to have over the holidays. And it does take up almost no room, so I might be able to squeeze it in. And the other thing is just plain black tights. These would be so handy in case it gets really cold. These could go even under my jeans, definitely would go under that dress. And this is not an outfit, guys, okay? This is not an outfit. But these can go under a variety of things in case it gets cold. So they would be great to have, but I don't need them. So let's see if I have space and we might end up with these wild cards in the bag. Okay, here I am in my cozy sweater outfit that I'm going to be wearing on the airplane so it does not get packed. These jeans and this sweater and this black tank don't get factored into the packing process. So we have two pairs of pants and two sweaters and some silk pajamas and a dress. And we're going to fit it all in this one packing cube. That's what I have allowed myself for outfits on this trip. Here we go. You can do this. Now let's start with something easy. Let's start with these silk pants. These are so easy because they're so soft and they're so light. About one foot long to I'm gonna put it right in the corner of my packing cube. Next thing's next. Okay, slouchy pink sweater. Uh, same thing. We are just going to fold it and then fold the arms in. We're gonna roll it up just like that. From the bottom, where all the pieces are hanging flappy, not from the top. Let's tuck those flappy pieces in. That's a pretty big tube. It, luckily, it doesn't weigh much, but that's, that's probably a big space investment. I need to be careful now. I didn't expect that to be so bulky because it's so lightweight. Now I have to watch it. Very important standard items. The nude tank top is going to be a staple that must come along. Roll it up as tightly as you can. Set it right next to the silk pants. This is absolutely going to be a staple, this gray sweater. So I'm just gonna fold the neck over and then I'm going to fold the arms over and I'm gonna roll it from the next side. I don't think this is gonna be as small as I want either. Let's check it out. Oh, much smaller than the pink one. Much smaller. Do you see the size comparison? Okay, well that was a bit of good luck. The olive pants I know will fold up very small. I've brought them to all sorts of different places on numerous occasions. So here we go, roll them up. And I'm going to try to set that next to my gray sweater. Getting a little tight in here. I'm going to attempt to roll up the dress and see where we're at. Arms in. Maybe fold it in half once. Maybe fold it again this direction. Okay. And you always want to pick the flappy side to tuck in. And this seems to be the flappy side where things are getting a little loose and out of control. Nice and tight, like a tent. Learned that in Girl Scouts. Uh-oh, the pink sweater is trying to get out of here. Okay. So it looks like that kind of pushed the limits a little bit. I'm going to unroll my gray sweater and I'm gonna lay it flat over all of this. I don't know if we're going to have any room for wild cards here. Okay, so I'm setting this gray sweater flat on here. Do you guys think this thing's going to close? I think it will. Packing cubes are amazing. They, they close around much more than you think. It looks like I have a little bit of space right here. Hmm. Well, if I could pick something, I'd pick the black tights. I'm going to shove the black tights in here. 
because it is an item that I really, really wanted to bring. So, because cold weather is cold. How do you like that bit of wisdom? Hey, that looks pretty good. The reason I didn't put the silk pajamas in here is because I think I would want to put those in my undergarments bag. And my undergarments bag is always surprisingly not filled up, so I know there's going to be a little space in there. But I think I am going to forego the tinsel sweater, or should I try to stick it in here? I shouldn't push it. But if I did push it, what would that look like? I would probably want to keep it relatively flat. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna test. Ooh, this is tight. Okay, tuck it in. <laughs> tuck and zip. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, guys. It's basically going to be my almost my entire backpack. Uh, this tinsel thing's not really happening, is it? I was in denial there for a little bit. Okay, this is the packing cube minus the silver sweater. That's pretty good. That's eight days worth of outfits. And they're not just terrible outfits either. I thought they were pretty good and they all mixed and matched. So it gives me a little bit of wiggle room with what I want to wear. I don't think I'll get tired of these pieces. I kept them pretty classic. I mostly don't need necklaces with my turtleneck sweaters. And with this haircut, I barely see earrings. So mostly what I'm concerned with is bringing my one bracelet and I've got my jewelry pack here. And I think that I will just go ahead and shove that into my outfit bag so that I know where it is. And that fits. I really think that's the limit and I really shouldn't push it any further. Very happy with my outfits for this trip. Let me just show you how small my undergarments bag is. It's very tiny. But once you start rolling up your underwear and tucking things inside of each other, it becomes very small. And I also budget one day of my trip to do some laundry, so I only bring like half of what I would need for an eight day trip. I would love to show you how small my silk pajamas can become if I fold them right. So I'll start with folding my pants into a square I'm not really concerned with wrinkling because I could just pop them in the dryer wherever I go. Those arms are already tucked in. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay, so now we've got kind of like, they're in squares. And I think what I'm gonna do now is roll them up into a tight tube. <laughs> Noisy desk. And I'm going to stick them diagonally in the square bag and that gives me a whole corner for underpants and probably an extra bra, which would be nice. And that becomes nearly nothing too. So once I fill that up, it's gonna be about this size. This is nearly all that it's going to fit in a backpack comfortably once I get my laptop in there. So I need to take it easy on makeup and toiletries. I'm going to bring the bare minimum and in places where I can use someone else's shampoo, um, I will do that. Definitely not bringing a hair dryer or a curling iron. And you know, if you're the type of person that needs your Dyson 5000 with like vacuum power and curling action, this video is not for you. I'm sorry, I love you. The last thing I'm going to bring, and I'm going to have to wear it on the airplane. So I'm gonna be a little hot because I'm gonna be wearing my parka, this sweater, my jeans, and you need something else? You know you do. What do you need in the winter time in cold weather? You need a silk scarf. I'm gonna bring this big one because it's going on my body and it just doesn't have to fit in my bag. So I love this one around Christmas time because of the color. And I love how big and fluffy it gets under my parka. So I am bringing this, I'm bringing it. Isn't it surprising though that I'm not bringing more silk scarves than this? Maybe if I have room, I would tuck one little square in so that I can wear it with my pink sweater. I'm going down a slippery slope here. I'm already thinking of two that I want. I'm only going to choose one. I'm going to put some limits on myself. I'm gonna to stick to them and be a rational adult. So that's it. We have 
Enough clothes for eight days. It's gonna go right in my backpack. You wanna see me put it in my backpack? This backpack has a laptop compartment in it. So that laptop is going to stay contained in there. But let's see how these clothes make the backpack look and feel. Okay, looks like there's plenty of room for makeup and a few toiletries that I love. I I do not like to borrow anybody's uh, skincare. Skincare needs to be mine and it needs to be carefully chosen for the weather I'm going to be encountering and there's just no substitution for your own skincare. So I've left a little bit of room for that. But look at this, when I zip it up, and this is not a big backpack at all. This is a small backpack. This is slim, minimal, you're gonna feel calm, cool and collected showing up with your wonderful outfits. The outfits that I showed you, that was three outfits, but you can mix and match those to make nine. <laughs> and not only that, there's a dress in here and there are some tights. So there are a lot of options in this slim little bag. You need less than you think sometimes. In Christmas time, do you need to add to any of the chaos? No. So I bet some of you are saying, but what about the presents I was going to bring? This is what I do. I order off the internet and I have it shipped to the location I'm going. That's number one. Or I buy things that don't take up space, like tickets to an event or gift cards. These are things that you don't need any space for. What matters most is that you feel good and you show up with everything that you need to feel good this holiday season. I hope this little tutorial helped. I'm already packed, so I'm feeling great. I'm ready to go. And if you liked this video, please like it and subscribe because that really helps. And I hope to see you soon.